what is up guys my name is nash and welcome back to another video and uh, today we're going to be talking about budgeting uh, pretty much uh, how to allocate your money so you actually have something uh, saved up at the, at the end of the day so i know it's a stereotype that college students are supposed to be broke and i think this is mainly caused by the lack of money management skills which they don't teach in high school so when you go to college you obviously don't have those skills unless you take it upon yourself to actually teach yourself uh you know personal finance and things like that you know there's a lot of resources where people can learn you can watch youtube videos like these but a lot of people don't have uh, money ma management skills all right so in this video i want to show you uh, an easy way to budget which is not intimidating i know you've seen uh, some of these budget templates that are like 20 pages long and they just look like a matrix and if you're in college uh, chances are you're busy right you have classes you you have your job uh, you have uh, organization meetings that you have to go to you have you know you might do a lot of things and you don't really have uh, a lot of time to look at a, a microsoft excel template you know to update your budget and all of that so i want to give you something that's really really easy to maintain and uh, this is really going to allow you to maximize your savings all right so this is going to consist of three different things right so your income which is how much you're going to be getting paid whether you want to look at it uh, on a weekly basis or on a monthly basis that's up to you and the second thing is going to be expenses and this is broken into two different things so we have a fixed expenses and variable expenses and when it comes to the expenses we have a fixed expenses so these are going to be expenses that you cannot get rid of right and there's really no way of getting out of paying them so a good example would be uh, if you rent out an apartment you have to pay rent at the beginning of the month or else you're going to get kicked out and if you have a uh, car payments you actually have to pay those monthly if you don't make those payments you're going to lose your car so those are examples of fixed expenses so expenses that you have to pay the only thing you can do when it comes to fixed expenses is try to reduce them right let's say you had uh, insurance on your car which costs you 260 dollars a month and uh, to reduce that you would have to go online and do some research and maybe you can get another policy that's going to charge you less so if you have this certain company that charges you 260 and you go to another company and they say well we charge you uh, 240 so you switch over so that's how you cut on uh, fixed expenses and uh, the second type of expense is going to be the variable expense which is something you can actually reduce and sometimes you can even cut it all out because it's not fixed uh, so a good example would be the money you spend when you go out to eat or when you uh, go buy some alcohol so those are the things you can actually reduce so when it comes to budgeting so you want to make sure that uh, whatever you're budgeting covers your fixed expenses right because you have to pay your fixed expenses you want to make sure that you have uh, money to pay for rent you want to make sure that you have money to pay for your car insurance or stuff like that so when you're making your budget make sure you list out your fixed expenses right all right so once you know that you're going to move on to uh, the different variable expenses that you have so depending on how much money you have left that's going to decide uh, you know how much you're gonna spend in variable expenses so if it's not a lot of money that means you need to cut out some things that are in your variable expenses you might want to reduce the amount of times that you go out to bars or you might want to reduce on uh, getting food online where it's more expensive you know just little things like that that you can actually cut out so once you cut out those things and you have you know this amount of money you're gonna spend on variable expenses and everything else is a remainder so I would just recommend putting that in a savings account and you're gonna be able to build on this uh, whenever you get paid you kind of like have a system you follow you know you have your fixed expenses variable expenses whatever is left over you put it in your savings account so that is pretty much it that is how i saved money throughout college this is kind of like an easier way to look at budgeting because i feel like if you're in college you don't really have a lot of expenses uh, most likely you don't have like house payments you don't have you know a lot of loans that require you to pay them right away if you have student loans those are kind of like long-term loans that you pay after you graduate so that is pretty much it for this video uh let me know if you have any tips uh related to budgeting but uh thank you so much for watching guys uh, make sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already and i'll see you on the next one peace